Hey guys, Tom Zang here. I was looking through my uh, news feed this morning and I came upon this application called Byline. It's made by Phantom Fish. Um, it's a basic RSS program that will read your Google News, uh, basically anything you have RSS feed for. And uh, this application is free. Um, there is well actually it's kind of tricky to be honest with you but there is a free version um, both for the iPhone and for the iPad um, the iPhone also covers iPod touch so um, I'm not sure what this would be the 299 maybe that's the, uh, the, the the version that comes with the premium features such as um, removed ads or something like that but I went ahead and downloaded the universal application for iPad since I'm on uh, iPad 2 <clears throat> and um, yeah it does say here um, 299 and 599 so I'm not sure what the level differences are but anyways let me just slide through these uh, screenshots for you and then I will show you uh, the application as it is running on my iPad 2. <clears throat> Alright, so let me fire that application up. And so if it's your first time running, it'll have um, a login screen for your Gmail account and uh, basically it's asking you for your Gmail uh, or any of your Google um, login credentials so they can uh, get the um, news from. Uh, I think the way this works is basically it runs, um, uh, it loads off RSS feeds from your Google News. Um, okay, so basically we have a very generic interface. We got the ads on the bottom and it says want ad free um, byline upgrade today. Um, <clears throat> okay, so um, in my Google News I have all the items. I can view all the items or sort them out by my folders which I subscribe to Apple, China, and International News. Um, so let's see what's happening with Apple. Okay, so here let's say I just press the WWDC 2011 um, okay so I can have the option of writing a note and here's what um, maybe a little bit lacking for this application and I will show you why. Um, so let's say I type some random note <clears throat> and when I press share it doesn't tell me um, it does not tell me where it's sharing to you know uh, is it shared to my Twitter, my Google, or my Facebook um, but I did find out and here is where it is. It's actually in the notes section here that's where my notes went to um, maybe it's because I don't have my Twitter logged in or whatever but um, and you can always favorite it um, you can open a Safari copy link sent by email okay so that's pretty standard and this arrow button when you press it it, lo it loads the original source web page um, but I think that's a, <clears throat> it's a, well, let's see. So it's kind of uh, redundant, actually. You can open the link in Safari. Okay, so I guess the arrow lets you uh, use the uh, uh, internal mini browser. And nope, no swipe, no swipe. Okay, so I guess you can swipe it and it marks it all as read. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's go into settings. You can lock it in land, landscape mode. All of these are pretty self-explanatory. The caching, you can enable Wi-Fi only. So those of you who have 3G protects you from uh, going over your data plan. <clears throat> you can enable or disable images if you're on 3G. Uh, saves a lot of bandwidth and uh, okay so this is where the accounts are and uh, <clears throat> it's missing something it's missing Facebook so I'm not sure and um, hopefully they'll maybe add on or maybe Facebook is only in the upgrade 
No, it says the premium only uh, for uh, removing ads. So for $5.99, you can use Byline without ads on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. <clears throat> well, okay, so basically uh, this application is pretty simple. If, if, if you've ever used any sort of RSS reader, um, this is pretty much um, just another version of it. But it's, in my opinion, missing a lot of features, or, you know, maybe just one feature, but it mattered a lot, at least to me. And that is, I like to share it on my Facebook. I don't use Twitter all that much, but it um, seems to me that they left out probably one of the most important players in uh, social networking. So anyways, uh, that's all from me today, folks. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please do rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and add me on Facebook. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys later.